my brothers and sisters, we gather to worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with my spirit. Today the Church uh, remembers St. Wolfstan, Bishop of Worcester, born in or around the year 1009. His first 25 years after his ordination was spent in the monastery in Worcester. Against his will, in 1062, he was elected as Bishop of Worcester, and he went on to prove himself an able administrator and pastor. He carefully and gently uh, nurtured both church and state through the transition from Saxon to Norman rule. He died in Worcester and is buried there, dying on this day in the year 1095. And so in our prayers today we give thanks for his life and ministry and we pray for the Diocese of Worcester and for Bishop John Inge, his successor in our own day. dawned upon the world through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify a people of his own. Let us confess our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, we have sinned against thee. We have done evil in thy sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to thy love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore to us the joy of thy salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive you your sins and make you holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In silence we pray. Lord God, who raised up Wolfstan to be a bishop among your people and a leader of your church, Help us, after his example, to live simply and to work diligently and to make your kingdom known. This we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. now have a reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Think of us in this way as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or any human court. I do not even judge myself. I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness, and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive commendation from God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ was revealed in flesh, proclaimed among the nations, and believed in throughout the world. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Hear to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you must also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has put in charge of his household to give the other servants their allowance of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find at work when he arrives. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. And so let us worship the Saviour with joy and make our prayer to our Heavenly Father. Father, we give you thanks for the life of your Church. We pray for your Church throughout the world giving thanks for a rich variety of culture and tradition. We pray for churches together in England and churches together in Carshalton in this week of prayer for Christian unity. For the life and ministry of Wolfstone. And so we pray for the Diocese of Wolfstone, for Bishop John Inn, for his clergy and people. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for your world, that peace may abound and justice flourish. For the leaders of the nations, that they may recognise that ultimate authority rests with you. We pray for President-elect Byron and Vice President-elect Harris as they prepare to be sworn in tomorrow. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, who in the Trinity is perfect community, we pray for the communities in which we are set thanks for our friends and family, our colleagues and our neighbours. For the places where we live and work. For this community of Karshalton, giving thanks for the different ways in which our lives are knit together. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing, in his earthly life, your Son restored sight to the blind, and healing to those who were broken in mind, body, or spirit. We pray for those in need of his healing touch in our own day. All those whom we know to be in particular need. For those who have asked for our own prayers, we pray for Rohan, Gareth, Sam, Mindy, Sam, young Albie. We give thanks for all who minister healing, and particularly in this time of pandemic. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. God of resurrection, we pray for those whose earthly life is drawing to a close, for those who have served you here on earth and who 
worship you now in heaven. Amongst the recently departed, remembering Anne Wilson, Maureen McFarland, Derek Cummings. We pray for those who mourn, that they may know your comfort and loving presence. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. So in a moment of quiet, we make our own prayers and supplications. We gather up these and all of our prayers in the company of Blessed Mary, St. Joseph, St. Wolfstan, and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, everything has become new. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Offer each other a sign of that peace. Open the heavens, Holy Spirit, for us to see Jesus interceding for us. May we be willing to share his baptism, ready to share his cup, and be strengthened to serve him forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let's give thanks unto our Lord God. All honour and praise be yours, always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. For at this time we celebrate your glory made present in our hearts. In the coming of the Magi, the King of all the world was revealed to the nations. In the waters of baptism, Jesus was revealed as the Christ, the Saviour sent to redeem us. In the water made wine, the new creation was revealed as the wedding feast. Poverty was turned to riches, sorrow into joy. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and offer our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine as full may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he prayed for them. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When 
the supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. He gave his praise to them, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of death. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all love, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with Blessed Mary, St. Wolfston, and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be saved.
God, shepherd of your people, whose servant Wolfstan reveals the loving service of Christ in his ministry as a pastor of your people. By this Eucharist in which we share, awaken within us the love of Christ and keep us faithful to our Christian calling through him who laid down his life for us, but is alive and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God give you grace to follow Wolfstein and all of his saints in faith and hope and love, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. seen his glory, the glory revealed to all the nations. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.